Very good afternoon to you. The Government's Emergency Planning Committee, COBRA, has been meeting this afternoon to discuss national services' ability to cope with the heatwave. The UK is heading for record temperatures earlier next week, early next week, excuse me, prompting a warning from the Met Office that people's lives could be at risk. The Cabinet Office Minister, Kit Malthouse, chaired today's COBRA meeting and gave this update a short time ago. So our main concern is to be sensitise everybody to the fact that there are particularly vulnerable groups who will need us all to look out for them. Uh, so critically, the elderly very often living alone and very small infants who are particularly prone uh, to being affected by this kind of heat. And so we're asking people that while they should take precautions themselves, stay in the shade, drink lots of water, stay hydrated, um, that in particular they look out for those two groups and do the neighbourly thing, for example, knock on an elderly neighbour's door, make sure they're okay, they've got access to water. If you've got a tiny baby, make sure it's kept cool, possibly in, in a colder bath or a, you know chilled uh, in some way. Uh, just being sensible about the, the plan is what we're most concerned about. Correspondent uh, Ashna Hurinag is at the Cabinet Office and the very fact that there was a COBRA uh, meeting, Ashna, highlights the scale of this hot weather that's coming. You're right to mention it. COBRA meetings are reserved for emergency occasions and this, we know, has been deemed a national emergency by the Met Office, hence the reason why this COBRA meeting was indeed held. This was the second COBRA meeting to have been held after the UK's Health Security Agency declared this heat that we're experiencing at the moment and likely to experience over the next couple of days heading into Monday day as extreme. That's meaning that they've made it a national emergency, declaring that it is to be deemed a level four uh, state of emergency, which means, what does that mean? Well, it means it's going to be uh, impacting health, it's going to be impacting travel, it could lead to power cuts. And I'll come on to the travel a little bit later on, but we know that a COBRA meeting did, as I mentioned, just wrap up in the last uh, half an hour or so. It was led by Cabinet Office Minister Kit Malthouse. We know the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, was not present but the fact that this meeting was indeed held today on a Saturday usually government business wouldn't necessarily happen on a weekend but it was like it was to discuss a number of potential measures that they might have to introduce if this weather does really take a toll not only on the National Health Service but also on vulnerable members of the community people in varying uh, various uh, places across the country this warning stretches across much of England from here in London all the way up to Manchester and then further up north uh, just touching the Vale of York. We know when it comes to travel there is likely to be quite major disruption is what Network Rail are preparing us for. They're saying that passengers should expect that there will be delays on some services. That's because the trains will have to run at a, such a reduced speed because of the heat of those tracks and they're going to have to manage services in line with that hot weather that we're likely to see. Here in London, the London Underground is also going to be impacted. Passengers told here to prepare for severe disruption. And if you're living in the capital, it's not only the travel that you're going to have to be keeping an eye on, but also pollution levels. We know that there is an incredibly very high pollution alert that's been issued for Monday here in the capital, which obviously is going to impact those with respiratory conditions, but also those without. And that's crucial to this red weather warning and health warning in that it can, it has been deemed so severe that it will affect the health of those who are deemed to be healthy. But it is, as Kit Malthouse we heard from there, so important, they say, that people out and about do touch on and go and see vulnerable members of the community, check on people to check they're able to keep cool, all the while keeping an eye on the amount of uh, water that's being used by people. But the overarching issue is, is here. The Met Office say that the UK is used to playing in the sun, but this, they say, is not weather to be played with and that we should really keep care. Take care.